joining us now for more as tech analyst Carmi Levy. Carmi, uh, first of all, good to see you. Let's get your reaction to what has happened here, uh, Canada, following uh, the same move uh, that the U.S. and EU have already taken. Yeah, you know, Canada for once in its life is actually, you know, on the ball, is, isn't at the back end of the treadmill, isn't waiting months to study it and to, you know, run it through committee. Um, it isn't uh, it isn't going slow. It's deciding to move very quickly. In fact, just, just at the end of last week, our privacy commissioners announced that they were going to be uh, embarking on a study of it. And you would think, you know, based on past experience, Canada would have said, okay, let's let's wait for that to happen. But in this, in this case, they're like, no, we're just going to go ahead. We're going to follow the U.S. US and European lead. There's a clear and present threat to Canadians' privacy and security. We don't know. We know that the app takes a lot of data off of individuals' phones. We don't know where it goes. Uh, the company says that it's controlling it, but we know full well that that is not the case. Um, and uh, that's a risk, and it's not a risk that we're willing to wait on. So good on the government for finally doing something we've been calling for for a very long time, is acting and acting decisively and quickly. I'm impressed. Is what the government uh, decides to do here, is, is their decision to make this a ban on government devices something that should have happened sooner and does it go far enough? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the technologist in me, the cybersecurity expert in me, wishes that Canada had been a little bit more proactive about mobile device security uh, in general, not just as it relates to TikTok, that you have hundreds of thousands of individuals, government uh, employees across the country who are doing the government's business on mobile devices. And we haven't really had any kind of framework in place to ensure that those devices remain secure. They're able to install pretty much any app that they want on them. And that, of course, puts all other apps and other data and other interactions on the phone at risk if they are not properly controlled. So I would have liked to have seen this before, but it's one of those better late than never deals. You know, good on them for finally getting around to it. And I think maybe this will initiate that kind of discussion beyond TikTok. What are we doing to ensure that mobile devices used by not just federal government employees, but all levels of government employees uh, are secure and they're keeping both the employees, the government business and the business of Canadian citizens secure? Right, and so let's talk a little bit about how much of a threat TikTok is in your opinion, because there are concerns as this is a Chinese owned app, we are talking about um, reports of Chinese interference in our federal elections. Uh, how much of a threat is it really? It's the kind of thing that keeps me up at night, and I wish it would keep Canadians up at night as well. We simply do, we know full well, we've seen the forensic analyses of the, the TikTok app, and we know that it is very aggressive compared to other social media apps in terms of the amount of data that it collects from the device, the circumstances under which it collects those data, and then, of course, those pieces of data. And then, of course, because it's Chinese-owned, this isn't just, you know, Facebook or, or Twitter, it's not going onto an American server, it's owned by a Chinese company. And so where it goes, uh, we simply don't know. The company promises that it is secure, that it's stored off off-site, but the truth of the matter is is uh, we've seen full well that they claim one thing, but employees have a backdoor uh, and they've used that backdoor on many, many occasions. And so there's simply too many questions. We don't have a smoking gun, but, you know, we've got smoke. Uh, and that's enough for me to worry. And uh, frankly, we should all be worried. And, and until the company can answer those questions definitively, we owe it to ourselves to ban them from federal employee devices um, and, 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 and force the company to essentially prove that it deserves to have a place on them. And right, right now, that is not the case. All right, Carmi, I have to leave it there. Good to see you. Carmi Levy, tech analyst, joining us on this. Thanks so much. Thanks, Lois.